I have made the single most generic level ever. Not only that, but I made it in one hour. Okay, first things first, how do you make a level that leaves the player's brain as quickly as they finish it? Well, the answer is to just make it kind of bland. Now, I don't mean to make it a big, long level with nothing in it. That is just not fun, not bland. The way you make something bland is by making it unoriginal. And you should not go and just steal somebody's level because that is stealing, and again, it's not bland if that level was a good one. What you need to do is make a level that is so simple that it's just not special. Let me explain. Like I said before, bland and bad are not the same word. I personally think that this level is a good level. The goal is to make it forgettable, like in a movie theater where the movie wasn't bad, but almost an hour after you've seen it, it has completely disappeared from your brain. The way you make a simple level is with simple tools. So I personally went for platforms as the main gimmick of this level. Platforms are not complex at all. They move side to side or they move up and down. In this level, I made it so that all platforms only go up and down. Honestly, I don't know why, that's just kinda how it turned out. Not only are platforms very simple, but they are also very easy to implement into your levels. You literally just place them down and they're ready to go as long as you pick the direction that you want them to go in. So not only did this help with making the level bland, but it also helped with the one hour aspect of it. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Platforms are everywhere in this level. You eat platforms for breakfast, you live, you breathe platforms. And laser focusing in on one very simple mechanic is another thing that makes this level bland. You're repeating the same thing with the same mechanic over and over. And that's not bad, it's just forgetful. And that, in this case, is exactly what we want. Also, side note, if you don't want your level to be forgotten, mix in a few mechanics. Don't go overboard like five. Two or three is the magic number, okay? That is exactly the right amount where you can sprinkle them out evenly throughout the level, and as long as they fit a theme, then it'll all work out seamlessly. But we are not here to make a seamless level. We are here to make a boring, drab level. In fact, the drabness of the level is what I wanted to tackle next. At first glance, drab is just another adjective to call our level. It's what we've been doing this entire time, but drabness is something else entirely. Have you noticed while watching me make the level in the background that nothing really stands out? Well, that is because I purposely picked the worst colors in the game. Desert, which is brown, and Goombas, which blend right in with that brown color. Without anything that stands out in the level, it will soon be forgotten. And for the millionth time, that is what we want. So, to make a forgetful level, you need to, well, make a level, but you have to keep in mind the things that I just said. Keeping things simple, only use one mechanic, and keep that mechanic at its very basic level. Step two is to make it drab. Don't use any bright colors that could make it stand out from the crowd. If you do these things, then the player will play the level, and then as soon as they click that exit course button, or they complete your level, it will immediately leave their mind. Normally, you don't want this to happen, so maybe see this as a what not to do guide. Yeah, I think that this works much better as that.
Okay, let's play the level that took me only one hour to make. So first things first, we are introduced to the platform to our left there, and that was only one platform, so the next obvious solution is to have two platforms. We're really breaking ground here. In fact, you will see that same basic pattern throughout the entire level. We have a platform area, and then we have an area with a few enemies. Then we have another area with platforms, see, and this is an area with enemies. In this case, it's one winged Goomba, and now we are onto a platform area. You can see that they're kinda now going into the void a little bit there. So, we're, it's ramping up in difficulty, and that's good, that is good, but it's not very special. And that is incredible. We did a fantastic job. See another enemy area, and we're about to go into another platform area. It's great how we just keep on doing the same stuff throughout the level. Okay, I am gonna get all these coins though at the top. I I'm sorry, I just can't move on without getting them. Okay, we're not gonna leave one coin. We couldn't do that. It would be against everything my DNA tells me to do. Okay, bounced off that, and now we are at the checkpoint. That what you know, I can't even remember what we just did. Now, this is a little trickier. It's not really cut. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did not really think this through. So, if you keep your power up, then you can't really progress. I did I did only have one hour to make this, so it makes sense that there would be a few hiccups, but for the most part, it's fine as far as I've seen so far. Hope there aren't any more, but yeah, we just go up here. That didn't happen. Here we go, the first time from our save point. We're gonna do this first try. This is our first try. So what you're supposed to do is go in here, and the reason I have this little coiling thing, well, it, it's to die, obviously. First try, here we go. What does this level that I made have to offer? I forgot it already. That's how forgetful this level is. I did such a good job with making it forgetful. But yeah, the reason I have this coil is to make the auto-scroll just catch up with you, and that's another thing, auto-scroll. People will see auto- most people don't like auto-scroll, so, so they will see auto-scroll and be like, ah, oh, it's just another one of those auto-scroll levels, and they won't like it, and they will forget it, because their brain will automatically want to get rid of that. Let's go in here, and this, this is the end of the level. I am going to try to get the one up. Ugh. Man, I didn't- I didn't quite get it. But yeah, pretty good for a one hour level.